Welcome to the Darren Marlar Radio Show. That's me. I'm Darren Marlar. Glad to have you with me. And uh, coming up on today's show, does your diet have a five-day schedule or a seven-day schedule? Or do, do you even think about that? Well, I'm going to explain what I mean by that coming up here in just a few minutes. What do dog houses, Disneyland, and crazy socks all have in common? Well, they all make their way into today's weird holidays coming up later on. You may have heard about seasonal affective disorder, or SAD. But did you know that it happens in the summer for some people, not just the winter? I've got some details on that coming up later in the show as well. I also have a new reason to enjoy my afternoon naps, as if I needed another reason. I love my afternoon naps, but now I actually have a legitimate excuse for it, and I'll give that excuse to you uh, later on. Rocket scientists, they get lost in their own neighborhood. True story. A man blames his gambling problem on prescription medication that he's not prescribed to. We got our brain on drug story coming up later on. And if you find a thousand dollar bill, should you put that in the bank? I will tell you yes or no to that question. All of that and a whole lot more coming up on today's Darren Marlar Radio Show. But before we begin, though, I would like to say that if the show does not work out today, uh, afterwards we're all going to meet at Burger King and stick french fries in our ears and take pictures. Uh-oh. Sounds like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. Attention, everyone. This is the Darren Marlar Radio Show. Hi, I'm Darren Marlar. Welcome to the Darren Marlar Radio Show. Well, Monday through Friday, th those are the most important days for your diet. Eating well during the week, that appears to be far more important than the occasional weekend splurge, according to Finnish and American researchers who examined how the seven days a week human cycle impacts weight. And they found that almost everyone loses weight during the week and then gains weight on the weekends. Does that sound familiar? Well, you are not in the minority on that. Those who were, uh, they were most likely to lose or maintain weight they weighed the most on Sunday evening and the least on Friday morning. Now, while those who gained weight, they really didn't have much of a clear pattern. So why? Well, it's simple. See, on weekdays, we tend to have a regimen, right? You know, we have a, a pattern, a rhythm, a schedule for our meals and our snacks. But on the weekends, well, our schedules, they're a lot more open-ended, and they give us more food and alcohol temptations. I am fat boy! And with my trusty fork and knife, I can take a bite out of crime. This is it. Their, their, their show's funny. I gotta try that more often. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. So the day begins. What do dog houses, Disneyland, and crazy socks all have in common? Well, they all make it into today's weird holidays coming up shortly. Hi, I'm Darren Marlar. Welcome to the Darren Marlar Radio Show. Well, employers, you had better watch out. Your workers can't wait to quit. According to a survey by job placement firm Manpower, 84% of employees they plan to look for a new position in the next year. That's up from just 60% last year. Yeah, tell me about it. I can't wait to get away from my boss. Oh, wait a minute. I, I probably shouldn't have said that on the air. Uh-oh. Important assignment. Important assignment. Did I make it clear that your job is at stake? You've never been out of college. You don't know what it's like out there. I've worked in the private sector. They expect results. What a filthy job. I don't like my job, and uh, I don't think I'm going to go anymore. Human beings were not meant to sit in little cubicles staring at computer screens all day, filling out useless forms and listening to eight different bosses drone on about mission statements. I hate it here. Of course you hate it. People work here. What, what, what the devil is that? That's that, that, no, no. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. The more I resist, the more intriguing they become. You must be the Darren Marlar. Welcome back to the Darren Marlar Radio Show. Time now for today's weird, wacky, strange, zany, odd, bizarre, quirky, unusual holidays. Today is Monday, July 17, 2017. You now have 161 shopping days until Christmas. Time to panic. <laughs> uh, today is National Get Out of the Doghouse Day, a very popular day with married men. Uh, today is Wrong Way Corrigan Day. It was on this date in 1938 that Douglas Wrongway Corrigan 
left New York for Los Angeles, but he wound up in Ireland. <laughs> Gee, this Mississippi River's a lot wider than I thought it'd be. Today is Disneyland Day. Uh, America's first theme park opened on this date in 1955 in Anaheim, California. You know what? I have never been to Disneyland. You know, I, I never really cared for the for the amusement parks. Uh, having hamburgers, the price of two gallons of gas, the sun frying me to a crisp because I'm a redhead with very very fair skin. Uh, standing in line for an hour and a half in order to ride a roller coaster that takes 60 seconds? No, no thank you. Uh, this is uh, Captive Nations Week. Uh, now, the ironic thing is that if you happen to be in a captive nation, you probably will never know your nation is a captive nation and you won't be celebrating Captive Nations Week because, well, you're in a captive nation and they would never admit to being a captive nation. And today is Wear Crazy Socks to Work Day. All right, absolutely true. I love crazy socks, but I don't wear them anymore. Now, and I would like to think it's because I've matured a bit, but I know the truth is, again, this is true, Robin, my bride, she threw all of my Looney Tunes socks into the trash when she found out that I wore Daffy Duck socks during our wedding ceremony. No, I'm not kidding. I really did that. I want to hear it. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. It would make me happy. You may have heard about seasonal affective disorder, sometimes called SAD. Did you know, though, that it happens in the summer for some people, too? I got some details on that coming up. Hi, I'm Darren Marlar. A rolled up newspaper. Well, apparently, that can be a very effective training tool for your pet if you use it properly. For instance, use the rolled up newspaper if your dog chews up something inappropriate or has a housebreaking accident. You know, bring the dog over to the destroyed object or the mess or whatever, take that rolled up newspaper, and then hit yourself over the head as you repeat the phrase, I forgot to watch my dog! I forgot to watch my dog! Why don't you get a toupee with some brains in it? Identify yourself. You're listening to... Here's the deal. It's about time. Is everyone ready? ready? The master of ceremony. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. Listen. Crank up the radio. Hey, welcome back to the Darren Marlar Radio Show. Well, if, if you think of the, the term seasonal affective disorder, or SAD, well, your mind goes immediately to winter, right? But did you know that there's also a summer version of seasonal affective disorder? Uh, both of them are caused by seasonal changes. In this case, it's light and heat that can disrupt the internal clock, which is responsible for your sleep and your hormones. So if light is your issue, well, you can stay inside as much as you can or try to force your body into a strict pattern. Half hour of light each morning around 6.30 a.m., a consistent bedtime, that should help at least somewhat. Now for the heat, you can crank the A.C. and also take some cool baths. Since SAD is annual, you might want to see your doctor next spring and ask how to proactively treat your summertime blues according to Norman Rosenthal, MD. He's the author of Winter Blues and the psychiatrist who first researched SAD. Uh, by the way, if you do want to read a little bit more about this, I have a link to the article at DarrenOnTheAir.com. That's DarrenOnTheAir.com. Darren is spelled D-A-R-R-E-N. Let's get started. The Darren Marler Radio Show. Who are you? You're you, and if you're you, that makes me... Darren Marler. <laughs> Who's guarding the president? I have a new reason to enjoy my afternoon naps. Totally stoked about this. I'll tell you why coming up here in just a few minutes. Welcome back to the Darren Marlar Radio Show. Just read yesterday that Macy's, they, it's going to try Black Fridays in July in order to boost sales. And at first I thought that is crazy. Black Fridays in July. I mean, what? Well, it sounds crazy until you realize that now is about the time that Walmart starts putting out all their Christmas decorations. You found. You have brought the disaster down upon us. The Darren Marlar Radio 
Coming up here in just a few minutes, rocket scientists get lost in their own neighborhood. I got that story for you coming up. I'm Darren Marlar, and now there's a new reason to enjoy a snooze. Ah, love this story. An afternoon nap, it can make you smarter. Researchers they gave memory tests to 39 adults at noon and then again at 6 p.m. Half of them took a 90-minute nap between the tests, and those who remained awake they performed about 10% worse than those who had a nap. Now, most people's ability to learn it declines about 10% between noon and 6 p.m., but the nappers they were able to overcome that decline. That's according to researchers at the University of California, Berkeley. And uh, one of the uh, researchers said, sleep is not just for the body, it's very much for the brain. So go ahead and take a nap today. In fact, as soon as I'm done here, that's exactly what I'm going to do. How did this delightful chance encounter go south so quickly? The Darren Marlar Radio Show. I'm suffering for what you've done to this town. That is not fair. Today's Brain on Drugs story is on the way, and a man blames his gambling problem on prescription medication that he's not prescribed to. That story is coming up here in just a few minutes. I'm Darren Marlar. Two dozen Caltech students, they were rescued after getting stranded on the Mount Wilson Toll Road. Now, in case you don't know, Caltech, uh, also known as the California Institute of Technology, uh, it's the academic home of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Well, Caltech faculty and alumni, they received 32 Nobel Prizes for their achievements in science and engineering. The annual Mount Wilson Night, when freshmen are initiated into the Page House Dormitory at Caltech, well, it started off as planned. The group had a large dinner, and the young men and women were then taken to the Mount Wilson Observatory for the planned 10-mile descent down the road. Well, a quarter mile from the bottom, the group got stranded in Eaton Canyon, where the landslide blocked their path. Rescuers were called in about 3 a.m. The students they didn't have flashlights, warm clothes, or the important supplies they would need. They went up those trails in the middle of the night without any safety equipment and no lighting is pretty stupid," said Deputy Greg Gabriel, who leads the Altadena Search and Rescue Team. Yes, it was stupid. Did I mention yet that these soon-to-be scientist students were wearing Superman capes, tutus, and other odd attire as part of this hazing stunt? You gotta remember that common sense its not factored into the intelligence quotient said Deputy Gabriel. I mean, come on, Caltech! This is not rocket science! Oh, oh, wait, no. Yeah, actually, yes, it is. Duh. The most significant event on the internet today. Listen up. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. You have to continue to personally, personally torture me? If you find a $1,000 bill, should you put it in the bank? Absolutely not! I'll tell you why coming up. I'm Darren Marlar. Welcome back to the Darren Marlar Radio Show. Well, a man blames his gambling problem on prescription medication that he's not prescribed to. This is your brain on drugs. <laughs> a former Wall Street banker who said he lost $3 million from compulsive gambling He's blaming the prescription medication Mirapex. It's a popular drug used to treat Parkinson's disease. Randolph Simons, he's suing German drug maker Boehringer Ingelheim, Pfizer, and Pharmacia and Upjohn, claiming that when he took the drug from 2002 to 2007, he developed an insatiable appetite for gambling. Well, a representative for Pfizer said the company has not made Mirapex since 2005 when medical studies first linked the drug to compulsive behaviors, including gambling. So he obviously is using the drug illegally. This is your brain on drugs. <laughs> Any questions? You ain't here? You ain't nowhere. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. Finally a role model. Break history. Welcome back to the Darren Marlar Radio Show. That's me. Well, officials of the American Savings Bank in Munster, Indiana, they say a woman deposited two crisp $1,000 bills. And bank president Michael Mellon says they called the customer to have her take the bills back. Not because they were fake, but because they're worth a lot more money than the face value of $1,000. 
a rare coin dealer says those bills could be worth up to $4,500 each. The bills were issued in 1934, and they have been out of circulation for decades. The woman said she got the bills from a relative a few years ago. It must be true, cause I heard it on the radio. It must be true, it must be true. You said something stupid! Nothing's better. Don't you ever, ever call me. Darren Marlar. This is amazing. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. I'm Darren Marlar. Glad you joined me today. Thanks a lot for uh, hanging out with me for a little while. I'm going to leave you today with this thought from Og Mandino. Deliver more than you're getting paid to do. The victory of success will be half won when you learn the secret of putting out more than is expected in all that you do. Make yourself so valuable in your work that eventually you will become indispensable. Good night, ladies. Good night, sir. Hit it, sweetheart. That's all, folks.